Hi, my name is Roger. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. My area is not blocked anymore. And I'm thankful for that. If you don't know what I'm referring to, you should check out my last video. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense at all. And talking about my last video, then I showed you a little bit of how I record my background music. And now I want to show you a little bit of how I'm using it. So let's do this. Before we go any further, please hit that subscribe button and also check out my last video where I did the recording of my background music. The link is down below, of course. So I did several versions, but all have the same chord progression and all are in the same tempo. So I can combine them in my video editing software later. I will show you how in the end, but first let's listen to what I recorded. So these are the tracks I recorded. We have the live groove, which I showed you in my last video. Sounds like this. And then I did like a programmed groove, but also with some live recorded instruments. And here's the bass and drums. And then we have the groove one, which is sort of an interpretation of the live groove with the Rhodes and Hammond and things like that. Yeah, I did a couple of riffs on that groove. One riff it sounds like this. And the other riff. Which is the same riff as I had in my live groove. Then I did some stabs. And they get busier at the end. Like that. Here we have just a pad. And the pad with the drums. And the vocals I recorded, the vocal ooh. And the vocals with some uh, finger snaps. And the vocals with the drums. And so on. And then I had two risers uh, with drop the medium sounds like this. And the longer sounds like this. And of course, I can go back to this session and do other versions, other combinations of instruments, other instruments when I feel like it, if I feel like it, if I need it later on. Now let's look at how I combine these audio tracks in a video. So here's my video editing software. I use Final Cut Pro X. The green stuff you can see 
is uh, the audio channels. I have the vocal U, the E minor 104 BPM groove 1, and so on and so forth. And I also try to make them connect with each other. So if we listen here, for example, you can see that it's pretty smooth transition. Not, It's not going to be perfect, but in a context, it will work, I think. And here we have a groove going into the vocal ooze with the drop in the transition. It sounds like this. So I can sort of combine the clips and layer the clips depending on what I want. And I will show you the result at the end of this video. And the background music you hear right now is the live groove I recorded. So that's the way I do it. I hope you found that interesting. Maybe you learned something. And thank you for watching. Now I want to learn from you. So comment down below, how would you do it? Would you do something differently from what I've done? Please tell me. The Swedish word of today. To make videos, I have to cut a lot of film and audio. To cut in Swedish is klippa. Klippa. Now let's watch a video where I just took some pictures and a video of my guitars. The video is not perfect in any way, it's just a way to show you how I do with the audio clips. So hope you enjoy and roger that.